All right, y'all, let's talk. Let's talk fight preparation. Fight preparation, uh, rest, and stuff like that. So, a lot of us as boxers, we want to be in the best, best shape. You know, we want to make sure we overdo it. We want to make sure we, we leave it in the gym. So, when it come in the... Um, when it comes to fight time, we won't have thoughts in our mind knowing things that we fucked up to give us the excuse of why we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Say, for instance, we got a fight camp. We got a fight months away, right? And I sneak away from camp and, you know, I want to be with my lady and have sex or something. You know what I'm saying? And, or I'm supposed to wake up at 6 a.m. and do my road work. Before I go to the gym, before I do my weight, before I do my sparring. And I don't do it a couple of days, right? If I do that a couple of times, in my fight, if I get tired for any reason, the first thing I'm going to think about is, I'm going to say, damn, man. I was fucking with that bro. I was, man, I didn't get up to do my run. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to eliminate all that. So, you have no reason in your mind. This is boxing mental. You don't want to have no reason for any type of mess ups. You don't want to have anything coming in that's going to discourage you from not thinking you can go 100% or you can go all the rounds or you can go 100% all the rounds. You want to eliminate all you want to eliminate all that. So do everything. So let's, let's get to it. Back to what I was saying before I said that was I was going to say instead of us going so hard hard hard, <clears throat> the best thing you can do is get hydrate, stay hydrated and get rest. What I mean by that is this you ever took off like <clears throat> a week or two, uh, either from weight training, boxing training, or weights or whatever, or push-ups, whatever, right? And you go back in the gym, and you say, damn, I'm fresh. I feel good. Like, damn, I was able to lift all that weight, or, or I went that many rounds, or damn, I was hitting the mitts good, or whatever you was doing, right? It's because you're fully rested. A lot of people don't don't understand you have to be rested for a big fight, for any fight, you know what I'm saying? All your fights are a big fight. Everything is serious. So you have to be rested. You know, don't do nothing three days before the fight. If your fight is Saturday, your last workout should be like Tuesday night. You might go for a jog on Wednesday. That's it. You do nothing Thursday, nothing Friday. That's what I recommend. Another thing, us as boxers, and you have to be like this to be a boxer. We all think we're the best boxer. We all think we're the, the best trainer. So we all think we got the best advice. So it's hard for me to give people advice, which I'm going to give it to y'all, y'all ask me for. If you have a trainer and he thinks he's the best trainer, but it's okay because he's supposed to think that. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to think I got the best advice. And you as the fighter are supposed to think that you're the best fighter. So just all I can recommend is get everything from everybody, listen to your coach, and apply that shit fight night. Get rest and make sure you stay hydrated.